All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back. Uh, Ixubi, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, so we're going to continue... Uh, we're going to continue the Zero Rune run. And I guess we're done 61 bosses. I can't... Oh, yeah, the last thing we fought was the... Uh, last thing we fought was what? The, I think it was the Gargoyle, right? Uh, what's up, Zydo? Welcome in, dude. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Space Burrito, Jeff, Sower, Matt, Spec Op, Moses, what's up? How's it going, Ethan? Welcome in. Anybody who I missed? What's up? What's up, uh, Naruto? 1045. Oh. Resume the timer. Oh, yeah, we did just kill... Yeah, we killed the Gargoyle. So we have still not spent a single rune so far. And I continue to, to not spend a rune. Actually, I didn't get a new controller. And I should have. Maybe it's okay. If it's not okay, then that's really bad. It's a Mayu. Okay, um, so we killed this guy. I don't remember killing this avatar, but I guess I did. We can go kill... Let's go kill the apostle. Yeah, we can't level up, we can't buy any items, and we can't upgrade. Another mountain to climb? I don't think so. We can also go... Um, We can fight this bell bearing hunter. What should we use on him? The AKZ. How many no hit requests? Uh, I think there's only one. I just aggroed a guy. Yeah, I've had this controller for a while, but I kind of figured it was starting to break down. It lasted a decent amount of time. What's up, DNC? It'd be cool. I, I don't know if I can share a link with you guys to show what the re no-hit requests are, but... I, I Maybe I can, and I could do that. Alright, let's fight this uh, bell-bearing hunter guy. Yeah, surely I can just buy the beast torch, right? The budget frog. Consumable. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just, I, I kind of wanted to not do something so serious, and that's why we're doing this run instead. Wanted to just chill out. Uh, wait, I need the... This one. Oh, wait, what do I need for this? Oh. Right. Okay, well, let's go... That one... These guys can bleed, right? I'm pretty sure they can. So let's just... Which helmet? This one gives less damage, so we don't want that. Oh, the, the frog helm. Hopefully my B button doesn't fail me. What's up, Bree? Yeah, congrats on the run. That's awesome. That was really fast. scary. Oh, 
Holy shit, you guys are going insane. Hey, one second. I have to beat this guy to a pulp first. Oh, nice positioning on that one. Uh, Bender, thanks for the nine month resub, and Skrill, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate it, dude. Oh. No, my positioning's so bad. Let's go for the backstab, I guess. Not sure why I'm just not using square off, but... Too bad I can't use anything from this bell burning. Uh, but yeah, Skrill, thanks for the brand new Prime sub and, and Pengu. Thanks for the... Or Penguin, thanks for the 10-month Prime sub. Welcome back. Yeah, I almost had a run request, dude. And not Nova, thanks for the 2-month Prime sub. Thanks, you guys. And Lycan, thanks for the 10-month Prime sub as well. Uh, Coley, welcome back. Yeah, thanks so much, Lycan, dude. All right, GG. Uh, so what should we use on on the tanky apostle? Uchi's always good. How much difference is using a controller versus keyboard? Um, I don't know. I think you should just use whatever one you're used to, probably. I don't think one is, is better objectively than the other. Which is kind of what you're what you're used to. And Vosix, thanks for the 60 month resub as well. Thanks, dude. Oh, that's kind of cool, Bray. I didn't know that. I wonder if Rivers of Blood would be good on this guy. Probably. Uh, sounds good, Vosix. Thanks, dude. Maybe I should use... Uh, like, we should use some sort of bleed, probably. I could use the Bloodhound Fang, although I don't know how good that is on him. I'm just gonna go with... You want something fast? I'll go with the Uchi. You can't really go wrong with it, I guess. Oh! Okay. Jesus. So that means let's get, uh, we want decks, so go with this one. And then for this, we should probably go with that. Wait, so the, the special effect of, of this helmet is that it reduces HP recovery. So that, that actually just doesn't matter at all for us, right? Because we got a plus seven flask and we have low health. And so probably no matter what, it's going to fill an entire HP bar.
Uh, Skrill, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. That's true. Definitely doesn't look great. Interesting. I don't know why I decided to roll there, but I didn't think I'd get pinballed down. R01? Uh, I guess sort of, but not really. It's no leveling. Yeah, no leveling, no upgrades as well. Although we, I guess we have a plus eight. The maximum upgrade we have is a plus eight right now. That was kind of close. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe I should have gotten the, uh, I wonder how good the St. Trina sword would be. I didn't get one shot. I was thinking he was going to stun, but like obviously he wasn't. a drink. I am not fighting this well at all. <laughs> That's what I get. Get frame trapped into... I probably shouldn't have punished with a unsheath there. Actually, I, I do not like fighting these apostles that much because of all these... All these dumb frame traps, dude. <laughs> Miffy, thanks for the... The kind words and the six month resub. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't like the apostle. Like, they gave the frame traps are kind of annoying. Oh, 
Oh, and I got one-shotted this time, somehow. A bow-only run? I have not. But we'll probably do a bow-only no-hit eventually. I think I got one-shotted because I, I must have not... I must have been at, like, 99% HP. Hey, this guy is not that hard. I'm kind of making this look harder than it is. Especially with the build we have. So, I mean, I'm not some, like, expert on these guys either. But I did... I I learned them pretty well for the... For the, uh... Godslayer Sword Run. I got pretty decent at him, but I kind of forget now. That's, that's the thing, when there's so many bosses, like, you have to do a lot of reps on them to memorize everything properly. Uh, Comrade Prime. Thanks for the, uh, gifted sub, dude. Appreciate it. that caught me We shouldn't have done that. All right, there we go. That was a little risky right there, but... Actually, I, I might use this weapon up here. Possibly. That guy, that guy took me a while on R01 plus zero because I, I wasn't using any status effects. And, uh, he's got a lot of HP, right? So, that was a tough boss. Where should we go now? I guess we can just keep clearing out Kaelid or something. I use speakers, Zydo. Actually, let's go, let's start on the easier side, maybe. Maybe that makes more sense. Yeah, I, I play with speakers. Um, it's just, I have, like, the right type of mic, and... Let's actually, let's use the God Slayer on this guy. 20 strength, 20 dex. Also heavy. I don't need this though. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely hate wearing headphones. And so... Man, how have I not gotten the dex tier yet? I guess I haven't really needed it, but let's go grab it. Yeah, I, I, I do not like wearing headphones, dude. It's just uncomfortable. I don't know. 
Oh. I use a Shure SM58. Um, speaker shouldn't really matter. And then, yeah, with, with this microphone, as long as, you know, you put a noise gate in, which might, maybe isn't even necessary, but if you have things oriented the proper direction and, uh, and stuff like that, it should, like, you shouldn't really have any issues. Uh, 12 gauge mage. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, I want to use the Ash of War if I can. Are you serious? I want to try to use the um, Ash of War here. Ash of War is really cool. Except it's very slow. So let's see if we can... Let's go with the Dex tier. Uh, Horkst. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the Prime sub as well. Thanks so much, dude. All right. Oh, wait, it's Faith that I don't have. Oh, shit, I thought it was Dex for some reason. Yeah, my fake my fake background is downloaded off of uh, fakebackground.com. Okay, so I need the Faith, apparently. Can I have a subathon? Um, I might if... I might, I don't know. Yeah, we. I, I would have to think of some idea for it first, right? The subathons I've done so far have had some sort of unique idea, so it's not just like something stupid. Kind of get people to sub to watch me eat a fucking hot pepper or something, you know? Got to be something cool. So, and usually I, I do like a week long marathon too, like the two that I have done. Let's see if I can get the ash. Oh wait, he's aggroed to me, sorta. No, 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 turn around. Please hit that pot. Hit this one. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'm all out, dude. Oh, that's devastating, but okay. We gotta go in. All right, let's see how good the God Slayer is. Can I oh, I'm fat rolling. Oh, God. Wow, that did a lot of damage, though. How do I not fat roll? Rage Cajun, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime Sub as well. That was a lot of damage, man. Okay, well, I got to get back in somehow. I can't find him. I right, hear he is. Actually, I do really like this weapon. Oh. In this direction, I guess. How am I in that? Oh my god, I hate these enemies, dude. Look at him. Oh, great! Nice fucking tree root, dude. Yep, of course I was in that somehow. really disappointing that I didn't have enough stamina to finish him off there. Alright. No, I, I like... Well, I don't... No, I, I wouldn't say I like these enemies at all. I don't mind 
the normal non-rot ones because they don't just spam rot attacks constantly, but... Um... But the rot ones I, I don't like because they, they just spam that attack way too much. Yeah, the Ash of War has two swings, but again, I didn't have stamina there. That's what I said. I didn't have the stamina to go for the second one. Use the Lurk. I knew that guy was there, but I... Forgot that he did that. A consumable only is... It's okay. We're going to do it at some point. Uh, did I? Did we really kill three bosses and I didn't mark them down somehow? 65? When did I just kill three bosses, dude? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't mark. I probably didn't mark any of those guys. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Arabesque, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, dude. Just gun it through here, I guess. I think that God Run 3 Command is on cooldown or something, but it's uh, seven Soulsborn games, no hit, all in a row. I'm probably going to die here. Uh, thanks, Arabesque. I appreciate it, dude. Any bosses where I'd never use mid-roll? Mm, I, I don't like mid-roll on Millennia. So I'd probably try to not do it there if possible. But other than that, I think it's okay. When to start getting into no hit runs? Uh I started no hit runs um in 2017, so over five years ago. And it was Dark Souls 3 was my first one. Yes. This, this should be a fine weapon here. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 was my first no hit run, and I did runs in that game for a while. Um, and then as more games came out, I did a few more, but I, I never really did a game as much as Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 2 was the closest. Oh yeah, no, I've been, I've been doing it for a while. Yeah, I think I was the, um, I was the 15th person on Team Hitless, I believe. I messed up by not using gamut strats here, you guys. Um, do I have... Uh, Raiden, thanks for the... Thanks for the 28-month Prime resub, dude. I really messed up, you guys. I should probably get out of here. Ooh, okay, let's, um... Let's go get some crystal darts from somewhere. Yeah, I, I there should be somewhere where I can pick them up. These don't work in place of crystal darts, do they? Where can I pick up crystal darts? I know there's some spots, but I... I can't think of where. Or I can use, like, Assassin's Gambit on them. Or whatever the hidden body spell is. Take me a while to get good at no-hit runs. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. My first run I got within a couple months. Or not a couple months, a couple weeks. I think it took about three weeks to get my first run. Uh, And then kind of beyond that... Like, I, I don't think a run has ever taken me that long. I guess all bosses no-hit in this game took me a while, but that's also because I took, like, a break mid-going for it. Plus five Faith Talisman. Is there, like, down here there's some? But yeah, I can't really remember. And, and I, I guess one thing to keep in mind, too, is back in that day, like 2017, uh, Munflare, thanks for the 6 month resub as well, dude. Um, back during that time, there were so, there was only, there was literally only like 10 people doing no-hit runs at the time, right? There was like Hob, there was Froz, there was Squilla, and there's some other people too that don't really stream anymore. There was not a lot of people doing things, so things progressed a lot, um, more slowly. Surely it's this one, right?
Yeah, it was it was really fun back in the day because yeah, it was it was a time where people didn't really know if some of the stuff was possible that others were trying, right? And Squilla was doing doing basically the impossible. Right? SL1 uh he was doing SL1 all bosses, no hidden dark Souls 3. And you know, for a, a, a small amount of time, it actually wasn't even a, that small amount of time. It was a year and a half before the second person did it, which was me in Dark Souls 3. Like he did He did SL1 all bosses plus DLC no hit in that game, and nobody had done it for like a year and a half. Right? So that that's insane. Uh Gosby, thanks for the five month resub, dude. Did I, did I just die? I don't know why I did this, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, I was I was the second person to do that. And that was that was actually my um that was like my end goal for no hit runs was to do SO1 all bosses, but then once I got to that point, I was like, oh I might as well just do more, I guess. And then and then yeah, I started with the no upgrade runs, which nobody had ever done before. And now, now a lot of people do those runs, right? Or maybe not a lot of people, but they're pretty, pretty popular for no hit runners at this point to like do no upgrade and stuff. Even in this game, right? Right when it came out, there were a few people who started doing like SO1 no upgrade right away. And uh, yeah, like when I did SO1 no upgrade in DS3, nobody had ever done that before. In in any of the games. SL1 plus zero Bergen straight sword. I actually did do that, yeah. For some reason. I don't know why I did, but I did it. Alright, crystal darts. I actually like this boss because of the crystal darts. I think it's kind of cool. Wow, that guy's going to get blasted here. <laughs> Oh, making a comeback. Oh, geez, dude. No, I, I never would have highlighted something like that. Blasted. go let's go back here any resources that could help yes yeah, so you so if you let me see does this command exist in my stream uh maybe this one there must be oh hitless discord yeah 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 that's the one so you want to join join the hitless discord that's probably the best place to start Marcella, thanks for the uh, four month resub. Thanks, dude. What about Hasbula? You love to see that, dude. What should we use on the Magma Worm, you guys? Maybe just some Ansper. Yeah, it's, it's, I, getting into no hit runs is pretty fun, dude. I think, it, I actually, I think it's the most fun at the start. And maybe it's just because I've been doing it for so long now, but at the start is kind of when you don't know. There's, there's so much stuff that you don't know about. And just, just like the learning process at the start is the most fun. And it, it, it's the same when, um, when Elder Ring came out a little bit for me too, because there was so much stuff that you, we had to learn. We still have to learn as well. Like, once you get really good at it, it's still fun, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's not as fun. But it's still fun. Like, and especially a game like this, there's still so much to learn in it that, uh, like, I'm still, <laughs> still in that, like, fun part. All right. Oh! Come on. 
bro. He's gonna get in the boss arena if I don't kill him. Which I think can happen. Uh, th yeah, this armor is the uh, Marais armor. Nice eye frames. Oh, nice hyper armor. Should have rested at the grace or something. Uh, let's get another multi hit. Or, or what, what? I mean, we've been kind of going with the Uchi a lot. What if I try uh, this one? Am I fat rolling now? God damn it, dude. You're seriously going again. Dude. You must be done now. I've never seen him do that that many times in a row. That is wild. How many was that? Like six? Oh, great. Yeah, pull, pull me into the lava and then... And then do that. That is great. Yeah, this but yeah, well, you know what? I think I think the boss is fine if it wasn't for that attack being or that attack being possible multiple times in a row. Like if the boss only did it once and then stopped, it's like, okay, that's fine. But then you end up getting it six times in a row. And there's nothing you can do, as far as I'm aware. Like what do you do? Is there a way to prevent it? I'm gonna see how much this does to him. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, it's it's this this boss and the uh, the draconic tree sentinel man. They spam you way too much. Go here. They just they spam that one attack from you know in in the tree sentinel's case it's uh it's the fireball where that you just get it like ten times in a row and then <laughs> those enemies it's just that charge attack. I actually think that the Magma Worm charge attack is worse, personally. Okay, uh, um, this fight really sucks if you can't just blast one of them down. There's almost no way I'm going to be able to. Uh, Spear requirements, I, I have the Faith tier and the Strength tier right now. He's probably going to throw his thing at me, right? Okay, I, gotta, I think I got to aim this. 
You know, it's one, one thing that's interesting you can do with this weapon is it pierces now. Um. So, theoretically, I should be able to hit both of them in one shot. Worth it. Worth it again. I can't say I know this moveset very well. Is he going to stun here? Apparently not. Here we go. Let's go and pause. Accidentally opened a a tab on my on my stream PC somehow. Here we go. Is this shield? Does this deal decent damage, this thing? Alright, I guess the next boss in this area would be, uh... Go kill huge. Skranix, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. Oh, is it is it the Asmund <laughs> shield, dude? That's funny. Iron Balls run. Yeah, Iron Balls are insane. What should we use against huge? I assume I can't stun lock him with like a flail, right? What do you guys think? Oh, should I use Ordovis on him? Yeah, huge erection. What's up, uh, Adele game? Is there a guide checklist? Um, yeah, there's, like, spreadsheets of all the bosses. I, I mean, I've done all boss no hits, so I kind of know them all, but... Yeah, let's try Ordovis, then. We've got the full charge Ash of War. Nice usage there of... Oh, hell yeah. That stunned him instantly. Yo, did you know about this already or what? Kind of insane. Had a drink at some point, though. I should probably be taking the repose. Oh. Too bad. I if I had known, I would have taken the repost and just gone with the uh assassin crimson dagger. Please don't.
watch it. Oh, now I know. Now we're going to do consumable. Mac, it's just, uh, I wanted to kind of chill with the run like this first. So, let's go... Let's go with this one. And I can probably just loop this then. Yeah, I guess he's only got 65 poise or something, right? I don't know. That, is this actually consistent? I feel like he could melee hit you, but... Maybe he can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, backstabs. Ah. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. How do I get back in? Can you just... How do I get back in, though? Please, allow it. strat have I killed this duo in here I guess I didn't I didn't mark him down so yeah huge erection is has been killed which will use on the on this boss here just some hard-hitting weapon uh, spicy. Thanks for the uh, brand new prime sub, dude. The millennia. No, I haven't. I haven't even. We haven't even gone to like fire giant or anything yet, so I haven't really been down there yet. Uh, yeah, starf is probably good, or just square off. Why did I go right now? Did I preload? Uh, what do you mean by that? Are you asking if it's like a mod or something? No, I'm just I'm just mar marking the bosses I go. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. The, oh yeah, the map fragments. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it with the map fragments. I thought you were saying like the, some boss markers or something. I can't believe you outspaced that. This is sort of a fiasco now. Nice iframes. I totally forgot about that regeneration, dude.
Always use square off. I wish it was this boss who just dropped the Halo Scythe man. That would have been better. Okay, how do I make this guy better? Just spamming me. Oh my god, I almost died. What am I doing? How am I not just using Silurius Tree? I'm sure this would work better. Maybe it wouldn't, actually. Oh, it is fast enough. And it knocks him down. Look at that. It cheesed. Here we go. Always use the tree. Okay, we can go... Go here. Man, the tree is... The tree is OP, dude. It actually is. The tree is so good. I'm gonna use it on here, on this boss too. Hopefully the projectile is fast enough that it actually hits the duo. Or just no hit run. I don't know. The hardest objectively that I've done is the master on DS3, but I'm sure I'll do harder runs than that. I, got, I would like to do uh, R01 plus zero all boss no hit in this game at some point. I think that'll be easily the hardest. Oh, wait, I guess I already got that. Even though I, 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 I looked at the arena and I saw a fog gate and I forgot. Okay. Hopefully this just makes quick you, you, uh, quick work of these guys here. I think it will. Just don't dodge this. Oh, and it even knocks him down. Oh, but look at that damage. Oh, shit. That is some serious damage. And look at that piercing. And they can't dodge it in time. Oh my goodness. That is serious damage right there. I can't believe how... Well, I, I can believe. That's why I'm using it, but... I, I'm, I'm, even, even though I knew this was going to be good for this run, I didn't think it was going to be this good. We're just totally shredding every single boss, dude. Uh, the weapon is Silurius Tree. Uh, I started, a, I started Confessor on this run. Which turned out to be the right choice because it makes it easy to use a lot of these holy weapons that are actually really good. without tears um well we start with 14 faith right so you can you can on this run because we could get the we have the faith talisman which is an extra five and then we only need one more which we can get from a piece of armor or you can also use godric's great rune as well right to the dragon's area i i think i already cleared everything out over there we got the avatar we got apostle we got Bell bearing hunter, tri uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. We already killed everybody. What should we use on um, long star beast? Maybe I should use the tree on them. Probably not bad. Yo, Gonka, thanks for the. Uh Oh god. Thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. That was not great. 
Seriously. How is this guy so fast? Thank you for not attacking. What's up, Zephyr? Yeah, the pest enemies really suck. Alright, um, what do you guys think we should use here? I bet you the large club with lion's claw is insane. Should we do that? We should use Lion's Claw. It's probably perfect for hitting him in the head. Let's do it. I need to put Golden Vow on a better weapon. I, I'm going to do that. After this boss fight, I'm going to put Golden Vow on a better weapon. It's just when I grabbed it at the start of the game, I didn't really have anything better to put it on. Um, I could maybe use the Beast Jaw, but it wouldn't be great because it got nerfed. So... Oh, let's just go with maybe strength, Star Scourge. No way that missed. How did that miss him? I actually think Lion's Claw is probably the best Ash of War against these enemies because it's easy to hit them in the head. And. When you put it on this thing... Oh my god. Okay, this is not going so well. I don't know why I can't hit him, dude. But yeah, two Lion's Claws to the head would be a stun. Oh, but it's not getting him. Might not have the height. Nice early hit. I'm actually getting totally blasted by him right now. What is he doing? Oh my god, dude. Oops. Hell's White Knight? Thanks for the, uh... That missed him? Okay, maybe it's not so good. I don't know how its hitbox is just totally missing the boss every time. Go for it. Okay, I apologize for saying this is a good Ash of War here. It's clearly trash. And I'm gonna die. Nothing will beat Square off, I guess. It is clearly steaming trash. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, person, thanks for the five month prime sub, dude. Welcome back, man. That was the most scuffed fight ever. I can't believe how horrible that was. I was I was just thinking, like, how could Lion's Claw be bad? It's got the big vertical hit. Tons of poise damage. It's really fast, so it has to be good, right? That's what I was thinking. 
And then I just couldn't even hit him. Unreal. But we did it. I just, I thought it would be so good. So disappointing. Not losing any runes? No, no, no. We're not spending any runes on this playthrough. Is it good killing Morgoth at level 60? Yeah, that's probably a pretty decent level for him, I would say. I wouldn't worry about that too much, though. I think, I, I think that's actually a mistake a lot of people make when playing Souls games for, for, for the, you know, not even for the first time, but just overall is worrying too much about what level they are. I'm thinking they're like un under leveled or over leveled for stuff or something. Like it's not really how it works. Okay, wait a second. We need to think about this. Also, hello. Thanks for the... Uh, sorry, I totally missed it. Thanks for the six-month Prime sub, dude. I think I said thanks to Hell's White Knight, but maybe I didn't, but thanks anyways, dude. Hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Okay, very important here, you guys, is we go with Unseen Form. And probably Assassin's Approach. See, I, I wish I just had Gambit. It would make the fight easy, but... Okay, wait a second. It's also, I think it's 16 intelligence. <sighs> we should go to the academy. Let's go to the academy. I want, I, I need the extra intelligence boosting helmets. Let's go on Johnny Boy. Uh, the shackle, it can be used to trigger things that need to be hit to be triggered. So like an illusory wall, for example. Um, or, you know, in, in certain dungeons, there's, you know, those moving statues that you have to hit them for it to move. They, it also hits those and it has a gigantic hitbox. So it's really good for doing that. We get for deluxe edition. I actually have no clue. I have no idea. All right, let's go kill um, Red Wolf. In Red Wolf, you want some sort of fast weapon on. So maybe... It actually doesn't have to be fast, but I'm sure the spear would be really good. Let's use the spear. Uh, Anthony, I'm welcome back. Yeah, I think I do think the most important thing to level in these games is always your health when you're doing like a your first playthrough or a casual playthrough. Always, like it's it, it would be better for you to sacrifice on damage and just get way more health. You'll end up just beating stuff a lot faster, or in a lot less attempts at least. So yeah, you could be, I mean, you could be level 60 with all stats and strength, and then you're going to have a really hard time. <laughs> or you could be level 20 with all your stuff in vigor, and then, you know, you're going to be dealing less damage, but you're probably going to have an easier time with most of, the, most of the bosses that way. Enemies scale to user's level? They do not at all. No, it's not like it's not like Skyrim or something.
Is there, is there a stone sword over here? We need to... There should be a lot of stone swords in this area, I thought. But see see what the shackle did here? It just opened up this... Uh, this illusory wall without actually having to hit it. Because it, it counts as hitting it. What's up, Doogly? I think Impaling Thrust should be good for Red Wolf. Maybe I can put Blood Flame Blade on it too. Um, Ash of War is good. I probably should have used Flame Grand Strength. Let's use it now. The Jump Strap. Ooh, that's a nice damage right there. Not bad. You guys know Red Wolf has 120 poise. Oh, how did that whiff? Beautiful. Rubber John, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, Rubber John. 120 poise on a boss that you would think Red Wolf would have no poise. At least I thought. For some reason. I was like, oh yeah, it's just like a, a little wolf, dude. No way it's got that much poise, and it just does. Yeah, and then Mal Malaketh in a full suit of armor. Edie. Stone sword good? We're actually going to be running through the academy here, you guys. Pretty rare that we do this, but. Um, let me know if there's any stone sword keys that I'm just running past. Because we kind of need all the ones we can get. I'm I'm just gonna go get um I'm just gonna get the one that we used on on the sorcery no hit run or or the carrying slicer no hit run that's the only one I'm gonna get classic lock on right there just lock on to the guy that's a mile away. I do have a YouTube channel, though. Yeah, if you do uh, exclamation mark YouTube or exclamation mark socials, it'll point you to the, the right direction. I use controller, Jules. Uh, thanks, Shinobu. <laughs> no phone number. Yeah, dude. Gotta include that. What type of boss would I like to see in the DLC? I would actually love to see a, a good duo boss in the DLC. That's what I would love to see. You already know that there's probably going to be... Oh, that guy's got shard spiral. I didn't know that. You you already know there's going to be some good, you know, single bosses. Because they always do a pretty good job when they make... You know, when they put effort into a, a normal single enemy boss fight. They always do a good job, right? Um, But duo bosses have been very weak in this game. And so hopefully they add a good one in the DLC. Uh, Coffee, thanks for the uh, 413 sub. I appreciate it. So much coffee. Oh. So I would like a good one. And I would say there's no good duo boss in this game as of right now. Seriously? I would just use this one, I think. 
I forget. What is... Oh, the... Uh, we can go maybe get the staff. I don't know. While I'm here. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if I die or not. So yeah, I want to see a duo, a duo boss, and 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 a lot of people who you know, if Elden Ring was was their first Souls game, or basically if they haven't played Dark Souls three, they probably haven't seen a good duo boss in a Souls game before. Because I I think FromSoft is is very bad overall at making duo fights, just just based on the number of ones that are actually good compared to the ones that I think are bad. Um, like there's a good one in Sekiro, there's a good one in DS three, and that's that's about it. So, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully they, they make a good one. What's up, Duchess? All right, so I got the crown. So let's go into this cave. So what I'm planning on doing is a strat that we did in all bosses, no hit. I, except I don't have any cuckries, dude. Hmm. That's actually a problem. And I don't think I have any way of getting them, right? Because I can only buy, which I can't buy, so. No, Ornstein and Smo, um, I didn't include for a reason. It's not like I forgot about them. Some enemies drop them? I don't know. I think the bee is okay right now. The scandal. Hopefully it lasts for a bit longer. I might just have also have to like clean my controller too. Possible. Like open it up again. Oh, the militia guys, huh? Yeah, like Kugri's make a huge sound. There's also spells that you can use. Um... Do I have anything, maybe? Maybe Loretta's Great Bow. That, that's a lot of intelligence, though. Do these things make decent noise? Let's try it. Well, yeah, so I, I can air max, but certain ones do uh, cost runes to get. It depends on which one. Have I tried Elden Ring Bingo? I've done it once. There's going to be a, a Bingo League coming up that I'm going to be in, so we're probably going to do... Probably going to do some Bingo practice at some point. The, the mask on. Oh, Jesus. I hate how I can't use any torch. Well, maybe we should go get like the, the sleep torch or something so I can actually see stuff in here. I did see that, Marcella, yeah. I really hope this works, you guys. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet, but... Hopefully that's enough. Hey, can I just chuck a rock over there? Yeah, see, they don't... It's not like the Cuckeries, man. Yikes. This is gonna suck. Well, let's get... Let's get a big weapon.
Oh, come on, dude. That is... That's ridiculous, dude. That's totally insane. That's going really well, actually, dude. And then, of course, that has to happen. Why is this so far back, this thing? Also, did not have the right talisman set up on there. I, I don't know if this is even a good weapon for this, dude. I, I was kind of just using it. It was the first thing I thought of, but... Probably some club would be better. Because they only have... What are they? They only have, like... I don't even think they have 80 poise, so... Or maybe the star fist would be good. Can't go wrong with the star fists. Yeah, I thought I was getting that attack there. Oh, no. Yo, I can handle this as long as I don't pull the mage, too. Which I totally did. Man, if I had Kukri's, like, this strat would work, no problem. Aren't you stunned for her? At least their AI is totally scuffed. My, I guess my crag blade wore off. Absolute god tier AI right here. See, and so this is an example of a not good duo boss. At least they're not annoying. Oh my god. At least they're not annoying, right? But it's it's literally just three enemies in, in the same arena. But yeah, basically what I wanted to do is there's a strat that allows you to um, fight fight them all individually, but you need to you need to like bait them across the room so that you have enough room to fight, and then you can just stun lock and kill. Obviously, I couldn't do that there, but. Alright, not many more bosses left in Kayla, dude. Plans for God's gonna do it yet? Uh, I'll just simply win. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I managed to beat them on fist only, which was a five and a half hour fight. So I don't think I'm too worried about them. Okay, so this, this dragon is unique because its head is higher than the other ones. I think it's a bigger... I, at least I, I think it's a bigger enemy. And so. So it's a little bit more annoying. I 
just trying to think of my talisman set up here, though. Maybe we should go with that one. What should I use on his head when he comes down there? Oh. Dude, it's so awkward on this guy. Seriously. It's so frustrating. It's really frustrating. I don't know what to use on this head. Love this attack. It's a cool one. Oh yeah, wait, why do I have this on, dude? <laughs> oh my god. Nothing's better than when you're in a boss fight and then the boss just decides they want to leave and they just do. Love that. I actually just can't hit his head. Why did they do this with him, dude? Like, he would have been... Like, he didn't have to be bigger than the other ones. He could have just been normal size, and then everything would be fine. No, he's got to do that. And then just spam, like, attacks where you cannot stay near him. And yeah, you'd think that... You'd think if he's bigger, then it'd be easier to hit his head, but it's, it's not, because that just means his head's higher in the air. So you just can't hit him.
And then he just pieces out. <laughs> That's great. It's his nice poise reset. This boss is actually just atrocious, dude. So bad. It's probably not as bad as uh, Borealis, though, at least. It, this is painful. Yeah, I gotta just do some sort of... damage. I should have just used Silurius Tree on him, but I already ran out of FP. You use the, the Glenstone Scraps on him. Uh, Jetpack, thanks for the three-month resub, dude. Welcome back. This is the longest boss fight so far. And then he just keeps like teleporting away from me. Actually got a stun on him. Uh, this is just the spear, basic spear. It's actually doing pretty well too. Obviously not as good as square off, but for this guy, since he's so big, it's really hard to hit him, and this is hitting him pretty well. I think he like one shots me here. <laughs> here we go. We got him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the longest boss fight <laughs> so far. It's very annoying that they made him so hard to hit. And the terrain makes it 10 times worse, too. What's up, Peter? Oh, yeah, the PS5 is, is uh, arrived, actually, you guys. So... I'll probably, maybe after this playthrough, we'll start up on Demon Souls or something. This is not no hit. We're, this is just a, a normal run. No no resets. Yeah, Roxling would have been decent. Solaris Tree would have been decent too, but that weapon has issues with hitting high enemies. Like, enemies that are in the air. Maybe it wouldn't be that good. But yeah, we will be playing Demon Souls and doing no hit on that pretty soon. I've never played the game, so I'll do my first playthrough on it. And then after that, I'll do no hit. So that'll be interesting. I, I don't suspect that game will take me too long to no hit. But then once we no hit that, then we can probably start on the God Run then. God Run 3.
Um, this guy... I don't, I don't think Solurius will be good on him, but I really want to try it. What other weapon could I use? I, 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 let's use it. Hopefully I've got the right stuff, and I do. Yeah, we're going to be playing the remake. This will probably one-shot him if, if I hit him. Let's see. Oh. Please connect him. Oh, of course he dodges it. It's fine. I, I didn't have the right setup anyways. Oh, God. Jesus, dude. It's a psycho. Here we go. He actually almost got me, too, right there. Okay, and then there should be a couple more bosses. Why did I not get the grace over here? Yeah, what, what you do on those guys is... Or what I find easiest is just wait for them to... You, you kite them around, and then after a certain amount of time, they'll just go back and just do nothing and just walk. And then that's when, on all boss no hit, that's when I would just beast jaw them or, or sacred relic sword them. I didn't see what the question was. Uh, flips, flips. This is not a no-hit run. We're just playing the game. I think we've got... Um, I think we've only got three more bosses left in Kaled. If I'm not mistaken. And we're doing pretty well. Making some progress here. Please tell me I have two stone swords. I do. Oh yeah, we've actually got a good amount of stone swords here. And there's there's definitely there's one that I know of in this cave. We're not level 1, but we're level 10, and we can't level up, of course. Has to be difficult to keep track. Well, it, it wouldn't be if they just gave us enough markers to actually mark them all, right? But for some reason, they only gave 100 markers. I guess they didn't, re they didn't consider that players would want to use it to mark bosses down. But, I don't know, 100 just seems like such a, a weird number with how big the game is and how many things that you could mark down. I think people were saying that there might be a mod that already exists that increases the amount that you can have. Maybe not though. How many how many of these can I place down? These like other markers? Like only six, right? Yeah. So annoying. I start with Confessor. What else? I mean, there's there's definitely other reasons why someone could want to use markers, right? So I, I think... I can't think of any reason other for me, though, other than just using markers um, to mark bosses down. Like, what other reasons can you guys think of? Like, maybe just... I don't know. If there's something that you didn't want to miss, you could mark it and just come back later, right? 
kind of, I guess, the thing, but it's really nice to mark things when you know the game well and you know where all the bosses are. It's nice to mark them so that you don't accidentally forget that you killed a boss, right? Man, Silurius Tree on SO1 or R01 plus zero no hit is going to be so good. Look at that. Just stands no chance against this. I'm really thinking though, I should have used this on the all bosses run. I should have used it on all bosses. Imagine how good this would be compared to the beast jaw, right? This thing has so much better damage than the beast jaw that it would have just one-shotted all of these bosses instead of me having to like stunlock them. Definitely would have been the better play. Oh yeah, it's half holy damage, half physical on the Ash of War, so. Like, basically. Yeah, I, I would say this this weapon is better than the Bolt of Grand Sacks for killing bosses, at least, because Bolt of Grand Sacks is way too slow and it doesn't deal nearly as much damage, so. I think Solurius Tree is just like a better version. Did I? Oh, why are you hear me? Oh, I messed up. I messed up badly. I don't know how he, uh, I think he saw me cause I don't know if it ran out or what happened. I also don't really need to do that. I can just go in and blast him, I think. didn't knock him down. I thought it was going to. Oh. Aim him again. I knocked him down. <laughs> oh, don't. S okay. Got a drink. How much less damage it does though when you're trying to Wow, I'm getting totally decimated. That's a, I, I really thought this was gonna knock these guys down. That's kind of unfortunate, dude. Then you could just blast them down over and over again. How the potions work? Um, well, in terms of drinking stuff, I just drink the flask, which you can put different stuff into it. Um, oh my god, he dodged it. Why does he have so much range on his shit, dude? I don't think this is the right <laughs> the right strategy here, using this thing. I should probably just fight him and, and poison him or something.
just poison them and then we, I can easily take out the... Take them out one at a time. With this one and probably that one. Oh my god, dude. Nice one. Yeah, I'll just try to poison him and then... Poison and rot him and then we should be good to go, I think. And probably swap to like the spear or something. Yeah, Scarf is good too. dude. I kind of forgot this moveset, but it's coming back to me slowly. Surely this time I win. He has so many, um, <laughs> he has so many frame trapping attacks, dude. Kind of insane. I thought you could strafe around that somehow. Maybe it's the other side. Frame trapping means that if if you roll, you'll get hit by like a um, you'll roll catch you, but if you don't roll, you get hit by the initial attack. Right, so on his sword swing, his claw swing also has that. And then uh I think there's maybe one more that he's got. Oh, dude. Like that one, <laughs> that's that's a frame trap because I roll it, but I get hit anyways. I also thought I could strafe this one. There we go. Surely I'm going to win this, dude. And I didn't even proc him yet. Hey, holy shit, dude. This boss is so bad, man. 
insane. I don't even remember, when I did R1 plus 0, did I just square off him? I must have, dude. So I actually, I don't remember this being so bad. So let's just not use this, maybe. Square off him, dude. I'm pretty sure this just stuns him. Of course, dude. I'm... Oh. Of course that happened. Let me switch, dude. <laughs> My god, this is what this is definitely one of the worst boss in the game. Easily. This boss is so bad, it's insane. Uh, let's go Charger 2. Insane fucking bench, dude. Absolutely insane bench. I'm gonna proc him with Rod, I think. Make this go a little bit faster. Oh, why did I do two there? Even doing one's not safe there. <clears throat> I still don't even like these straight sword guys that much. They're okay, but they'd be a lot better if they didn't have the tail attack. Tail attack kind of ruins it. I believe that's fast enough. Nice. 
Nice one. Okay. Is it? He didn't do his like big tail swipe that whole time. Man, what a what an absolutely atrocious fight that is, dude. That's such a bad fight. Kind of forgot. It's like some of these I forgot how bad they are until I come back and do them. And that is one of them. Uh, Dalek, thanks so much. Uh, the seven month resub, dude. Appreciate it, man. Have a second face part? No, he does. The, uh, the, when he starts doing those, like, angel attacks is the second face. Yeah. I, at least, at least there's a lot of good strats to deal with that boss, though. Flaming strike? You think so? I was just gonna use, uh... Uchi on him, but yeah, this is a, this is probably the worst dungeon in the game for no hit, or it's 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 tough. When we were doing all boss and no hit, we spent many hours testing in this dungeon, dude. Frenzied incants. I I haven't so far. Yeah, the reason why it's hard for no hit is because it's not it's not because the enemies are tanky, it's because it's very unpredictable what happens. And the strategy was you wanted to or what we did is we waited for all the enemies to go down to the bottom level. And then you have to like I don't know. It, it's kind of complicated. You wait here for all of them to go down to the bottom level, and then the archer, you know, if he aggros to you, you have to do something. And if, if he doesn't, you have to do something else. And then... Once you're, like, out of this main room, though, it's actually really easy. But for no hit, I'm saying. For casual, of course, you just run through. But yeah, this guy, like, if he aggros to you, you got to do something. And then if he doesn't, since we're using Gambit, he might not. For this, I can just simply run through. Yeah, this is... I, I, I'm i pretty sure this is the tankiest... Oh, I totally forgot about that guy. I'm pretty sure this is the tankiest... Um, Wait, did he just swing at me and then take out his sword? I think it might be the tankiest tree spirit in the game. I'm pretty sure he's tankier than the mountaintops one. You guys see that too? He like, he swung at me and then he took out his sword after he swung. What a legend, dude. Well, the Halic Tree might be tankier, but this is, Halic Tree wants not an actual boss fight though. I guess that's more what I meant. So let's go all basically status here. So I'm going to go with, uh, this one. You love this boss? Might be the only one. Can I can I poison this guy or is he immune to it? I assume I can't rot him. Guess we're gonna find out.
this attack is so has such an atrocious hitbox. It like if you try to go under his neck. Oh, no follow up. We haven't gotten poison yet. Probably not even worth it for me to try to get the poison off. Just go with the bleed. Nice one. I just rolled too late. Whoops. Edgar, thanks for the two month resub, dude. I appreciate it. God Slayer too slow? I can try it, actually. I think I should use God Slayer. I, I doubt it's better than Uchi, but we could use it to try to be cool. Um, what do I need for this, though? I need... We've got the strength. I just need more faith. So let's get... Two-finger heirloom on. It's actually still not enough somehow. Oh, wait. I need the dex as well. And I guess he just one-shots me. So that's, that's not great. Yeah, it's not really better than the Uchi, but... Not bad. Good poise break any day now. That is unreal. How is that even possible? He like, he just did his attack and totally whiffed and perfectly. Why would he like, why would he do that? I don't understand. How does he start up that attack from 180 degrees away from me, basically? So I, I actually can rot this boss, you guys are saying? I, our damage was actually really good there, so I'm sure we can do this. I, I don't want to be trying to proc rot on him all day long. See, that's what he's supposed to do. Man, this damage is really rough.
That seemed kind of close. I guess, did I do two there? I guess that's probably not safe. Cause yeah, I mean, it's not like, not like I didn't see the attack. It's <laughs> I couldn't fucking roll out in time. Um, should we go with this one? I got, yeah, I just got one shotted, so. What attack was that? Can't remember. Maybe just my positioning was bad. Like so much shit about the game. Well, I, I don't. It's it's not really. Um, I don't know. I can like the game and just think it's not. It's got issues, but over like it just the majority of things I think are good about the game. Oh my god. Just it's obviously got some issues, right? Oh, dude, he almost did it again. I don't know. Maybe I should have done this. I think it's because I ended up on the wrong side of him why I got swiped like that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but... Seriously? It's fast enough? Nice. like raid boss HP. But too early. I'm going to I'm going to just keep trying it until he hits me on this side. But I'm pretty sure what happened the other time was that Did that seriously miss? Oh, my physics got ran out. <laughs> What do I do? Do I actually not have a way to wield this again? I'm missing... Missing the faith?
That attack can just drag you along with it, and then you get killed. So... Oh boy. Are you serious? Oh, and I get tabbed out? Oh god, I got tabbed out of the game. <laughs> Surely you're dead now. Oh, dude, I got tabbed out of the game for some reason. I got, like, a... Uh, I'm, like, programmed to me out, dude. That would have sucked. <clears throat> yeah, Twin Blade's not so good against those guys. I should have just used the Uchi. But, uh, yeah, the Godslayer Greatsword is actually not bad against them, though. Yo, Matt, thanks for uh, five gifts of subs, man. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, um... I'm not mistaken. That's every boss in Kaled, I think, right? Pretty sure I didn't miss anybody. There's actually still quite a few bosses in, in just Limgrave I haven't killed. I haven't even really been down here yet. Who's going Hunter? Yeah, that, that guy, that's, I mean, that's late game area, right? So. That's tanky as hell. Go here. How many deaths? Quite a few. Probably like a good 30 or something. I, I have no idea. I haven't really been keeping track. Am I dead from this? I thought I was going to die, yet I took zero damage. Classic. What's up, Kazoodle? This weapon, though, you guys, for RL1 and RL1 plus zero, like for R RL1, all bosses no hit, this thing, or just not even level one. In if you were doing uh, even leveled, I think this would be one of the best weapons in the game for a lot of the bosses. Just get it. Too bad. Too bad. What's up, uh, Maddie? Didn't see Duelist fight? Uh, well... Yeah, no, I already did that one. Like, I just blasted him. Get it? Nice. I don't know why I picked those up. Maybe Celerius Tree is my favorite weapon in the game now, dude. I don't know. Get in.
What do you even think? What does that guy think he was doing, dude? What did he even... What was he even thinking right there? Uh, Barley, thanks for the six-month uh, resub. Thanks, Barley. Easy, dude. Even on the on this next boss, like the tree's gonna annihilate them, dude. Also, how am I so bad at updating the bosses on the counter? One shot, you think? Maybe. Maybe it'll one-shot him. Uh, Irish Bob, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Insane scam train. I'm not really worrying about my buffs too much. I'm kind of just going in there and... Oh, he aggroed right away? This is because I don't have Gambit. You are a smart guy. Beam him. Oh, what did he even think he was doing right there? <laughs> What's up, uh, Obungay? Welcome in, dude. Why are you still at Why is he attacking me? You're supposed to be, like, all scared now. That's so weird. Why? See, look at all the other ones. All the other ones are, they're running away and stuff. Why did, why is that one guy angry? That's, I was actually so scared of that on all bosses, no hit that just one of them was going to decide to go after me after I killed. Yeah, the new leader, dude. Yeah, I kind of don't want to just keep cheesing these bosses with Solaria's tree, but. I kind of think I should, <laughs> because why not? These are all early game boss anyways, so. Favorite area in the game? I think Stormvale. They actually, I, I was saying earlier, I wouldn't even be surprised if they actually nerfed this thing. I think it is good enough that they could potentially nerf it. It's a blue. Definitely should have used this on the all bosses run, you guys. The only problem is that you, um, it's not good at dealing with NPCs at all. At least I don't think so. I've I guess I've never really tried. But yeah, it's all about the, just that insane motion value on the Ash of War. And it, it does decent poise damage, too. One shot, death ray bird. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, the on, on base NG, if you're using... 
if you're also throwing in golden epitaph, you will literally one shot every single death bird in the game. Even at level one. I'm pretty sure level one, as long as the thing is maxed out, they're all gonna die. Yeah, I don't think it's good on the NPCs, dude. What are those fucking emotes, though? Those look terrible. God, I hate those. Yeah, because so Golden Epitaph, the Ash of War increases damage to undead enemies by 100%. So, so that's why. <laughs> and even on this run, the the Death Right Bird and Kaled, we I, we killed him in three hits. I'm pretty sure. How does this Assassin's Gambit work? Uh, well, you use it, and then... And then, basically, it makes you less detectable. Um, and then also... It makes you silent. And unfortunately, I wish I could use Assassin's Gambit on this, but I can't. Weapon leveled up? No, it's plus zero, because we can't use any... Uh, we, we can't upgrade any weapons on this run, right? Oh boy, he's gonna hit me with that. Please don't kill me. Oh yeah, I guess we're in early game stuff. Jumped it, dude. Okay, other bosses here. We've got this guy. I definitely think, though, um... Oh yeah. At 83 now. I think if I were to do all bosses no hit right now, I'm not sure what Banjo's doing right now because I think he's the only other one going for all bosses, but since the Beast John nerf, I would definitely be using this thing. For, you know, any of the weaker bosses, we'll just get one shotted by it. And. Yeah, I don't know. It could replace Sacred Relic Sword on a lot of bosses too. Not the NPCs, I don't think. Maybe there's a better option. But yeah, no question I'd be using this thing for a good amount of content. Opinion on mage builds? Like, what, what kind of opinion are you looking for? In terms of how strong they are, I think mage builds are the strongest thing in the game. And, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know what else. Uh, this weapon, I, I would say it's probably not that easy to get. You have to kill Solaria in Deep Root. So... I don't know if that's... It's, you can't just go and pick it up, like a lot of other weapons. Oh, he blocked it, you bastard. How dare you block that? I think I have around 1,400 hours in this game so far. Roughly. Yeah, sorcery is... Uh, yeah, sorcery is insane. Uh, is there anybody else that I'm missing? I don't think so. Let's go to, let's just go to Liurnia, because why not? Uh, Peso. Thanks for the three-month Prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. Let's go from here. What's up, Caddy? Yeah, I think I got, um, I got the Bell-Bearing Hunter there. Oh, did I not? Oh, I, I guess I didn't. I could have sworn I did. I've never been to TwitchCon, though. I, I don't know if I would ever go to one unless... There would have to be some good reason for me to go. Because that's pretty far away, and then also, like, I, why would I go? <laughs> right? I think Slicer gets nerfed? I don't think so. I think the fact that nothing... None of the other sorceries have gotten nerfed... I think they're just going to leave them all. I, I really think that they... They've left sorceries in the game as they are because it's um, it's a good way for, for players to get a strong build if the game's too hard for them or something, which I think is a good thing. Maybe that's not true, but it, it, it kind of seems like it's true a little bit. Ivory Sickle. Is that... I'm going to cheese this guy from range. I think I already have that. 
Oh god, a dagger, dude. I haven't done a dagger yet. Might be rough. Oh, he's running, dude. Nice block. Okay, I guess this isn't a good way to kill this guy. I'll just go good old square off. Can't go wrong with square off. Seriously? You can scrim Elden Beast with dagger? Like, power stance though, or? Oh, Charger 2, seriously? Okay, well. That'd be nice then. I think that's it. I think that's it for these bosses here. Go here. I think what I'm going to do today, you guys, um, I think I'm probably going to stream twice today, so I probably won't stream that long. I think I'll maybe stream for another, uh, like, 30 minutes or something, and then I'll, I'll stream again tonight. I haven't done that in a while, but I think that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, I killed Patches already. Alright, for this Knight's Cavalry... I guess I can try Solaria's Tree. But I'll probably switch to the Spear after. Why did I go from here? Not sure why I decided to go from this direction, but... Is that is that using the the poise upkeep tech Aziz on the transition like the scrap soldier of Godric run? Well, yeah. So I can't. I I don't have access to a lot of stuff right now, right? Since I can't buy anything. Oh wow. Okay. I guess it's probably got a big repost then, right? It must be part of the reason why it's so good. I really like impaling thrust a lot. Look at that. I mean, just it totally destroys these guys. Oh, got stuck on him. It's, it's really good, man. Actually, I guess there's more around here. Kill big sleeping dragon. Well, we can't. This this is a no rune spent run, right? So we can't. Like we would have no use in doing that, I guess. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about this guy. Yeah, the Crucible Knight. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. When I in my no hit runs, I don't like to do it just because it takes a while. Um. But you could totally do that. Using perfumes on this run, I can't use any perfumes because you you gotta craft that. So, and of course we cannot craft because we cannot buy the crafting kit. Oh, nice, Brett! Congrats, dude! Hell yeah, dude! You'd love to see it. 
But yeah, we have, we have no no access to crafting on this run, which is an, like an extra the challenge, I guess. Red blade. How we go with the shield? Oh, good thing the fists are fast. Man. Plus zero. So much damage. Uh-oh. I like these guys until they get into this phase, and then I don't like them as much. How did I get away with that first roll? That's insane. I can't believe I got away with that. I just like totally forgot what he was doing. And I rolled to the timing of like the quick tail swipe. And that was really bad, but. I really don't know what my, what I, what weapons I like using on these guys. Maybe daggers would be decent. The, the fists are good, but they have like no range on the roll attack. Uh, Fabulous Penguin, thanks for the great new prime sub, dude. Have to unlock to evade? No, you don't necessarily have to. Okay, now I got everybody, I think. You know what? I actually didn't. I always forget about this boss in here. Always. We got three stone swords, so we should be fine. Oh yeah, maybe they're not good. I don't know. I just think in Charger 2 or Crucible um, with the dagger could be okay. Uh, the next YouTube video, I think, will be the Zelurius um, tree. Oh yeah, I haven't done Soldier Godric either. I, I don't know how I forgot so many bosses here, dude. Which was really cool. It was it was a pretty tricky run with all the strats I was doing. And there were some really cool kills that I kind of messed up. But it was still really good. Which we use on this guy? Oh yeah, let's use the God Slayer. I don't know why I went the long way around here. Surely he's not going to catch up to me. Rivers of Blood. One of the best weapons in the game? I don't think so. I think it's okay, but... How long will I be left today? Um, So I'm, I'm going to stream for probably another half an hour, and then... Love that attack. Um, and then I think I'm going to stream again later today. Okay, I still don't have the stats somehow. What am I missing? 22 decks. Okay, I'm going to stream again tonight, I guess. Like, like 5 p.m. EST, I'm thinking. Which is in three hours. 
So I'll probably take like a two and a half hour break. Does this work here? Kinda. No style finish. Setting up PS5? Um, I, I guess I could, but I'm thinking I'll probably... Probably keep going with this run so we can finish it. Because I'm we're almost almost done, right? Over halfway through, at least. Yeah, let's go kill the soldier of God. Let's leave him until last, actually. How about that? Let's go in here. With, of course, the, the tree. Tree should be good on this guy. He did it at 165. Yeah, I guess that's true. There's still a lot to go. Insane music. I should have just boned back. What is in there? I can't remember. Thrown to the ground? It's uh it's the shackle. It's Moog Shackle. It's a level one. It's not a level one, but it's a no leveling run. Surely this will connect, right? Nice. Hmm. Too bad that second one's kind of too slow. So what I what I do in all bosses for these guys, if I didn't one-shot them with Sacred Relic, I'd wait for this. And they just go back and just do nothing. And then they just die. Like they just go and sit back and then die. Oh, Ranker Pot's Cookbook. Interesting. I wonder if that would be good for the consumable run. Let's use, um... I guess I'll use Godslayer again. The tree. Don't. Surely I won't get attacked when I'm fighting this guy. Is fast enough? Wow, that is fast enough. It's kind of cool. Pass down.
next, I guess let's go here. I'm sure it is, Eris. <laughs> what are these? Oh, do I have a... I just need one stone sword, I'm pretty sure, here. What are these heroes of Zamor weak to? Does anybody know? Except for, like, square off. Are they weak to fire at all? Because that's what I'm going to use. Okay. Let's use fire on him. I'm not, I, I'm not sure if this is an actual good weapon for this run or not, but it's kind of doing some work. Wow. How dare you do that so quickly. And then rush me down. What are you doing? These enemies are pretty cool. I strafe this or well strafe this one. Oh come on. You need the fast weapon, I guess, there. Okay. Wrath of Cold, dude. The player can't get that, can they? The whatever frost explosion they use, that'd be cool. Hi. Oh, you were gonna try it again. <laughs> Why would the player get cool things? True. Great point. Let's go kill the flower. The best boss with the best arena. Miranda. I bet this weapon requires so many stats. A lot of faith needed for this thing. I'm gonna die to poison. I well, she's weak to fire, right? So I so don't oh, don't get landed on. I don't know why I took that path. Surely this will be fine. What's up, uh, band guy man? Oh. Rip the no hit. Hate to see him. You hate to see it, dude. There's actually multiple Miranda bosses. One of them's a duo, but yeah, there, there's two, I guess. Yeah, and that one's got like a bunch of little flowers around her. So that's <laughs> a great, it's a great boss, dude. Obviously. Uh, it doesn't win. 
No, there's no boss HP bar, so. Yeah, you get, what, some of the, um, some of the websites, like Map Genie or whatever, the, they count certain things as bosses that aren't actual bosses. And it kind of made it a pain when I was routing all bosses no hit because there was a lot of them and I like go to check in and it's like, oh, there's no HP bar, so it's not actually a boss, even though it's a boss enemy. Uh, that's correct, Frame, yeah. Yeah, you gotta do them all in a row. And if you don't, you gotta restart. Yo, uh, Chadsworth. Thanks <laughs> thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Well, yeah, it's definitely tough. A few people have already done it. Um, and it is any percents, right? And any percents are pretty fast. Clearly, this will... Oh. Yeah, and, and there's actually... Oh, the rune bear, dude. I love the rune bear. Um, yeah, when you compare, like, the number of bosses in the God Run 3 to all bosses no-hit in this game, it's, there's actually a lot fewer bosses. Of course, it's not. You can't just compare it like that and get a good idea of what's happening, but... The run, for me, should also be a lot shorter than all bosses no-hit in this game. It's just going to be a matter of me uh, de-resting at the other games, basically. Getting to a level of consistency that I can actually... No hit them most of the time. And I love the rune bear. What should we use on the rune bear? Probably. Probably. S I don't know. Wait, what the hell? I would assume fire is good on the rune bears, right? But there's no. There's no way I'm getting that God Slayer Ash of War off, so maybe. Maybe I'll use Twin Blades. No, I didn't get St. Trina's Sword because it, it requires a Stone Sword key, right? I've been ha waiting. No, I, I actually do not love these guys. They're actually so annoying. about right I can't even get up bro what a great arena this is awesome. Does he have iframes on that? One of the worst enemies in FromSoft history, dude.
<laughs> oh my god. Any ch Actually, unbelievable boss fight. Ah, that's so bad. At least I didn't die. Yeah, one, one HP remaining. Yeah, it's a lot easier to fight those guys out in the open than, uh... In this tiny fucking room. Oh, we started with Confessor. Oh, this boss fight, dude, is going to be really bad. What do I do? What am I going to do on this boss? I actually have no idea. I wonder if Rod Breath would be good. I don't know, Matt. There's a, there's a, there's too many to choose from, dude. I don't know if one's the best. What should I use here? Because I, I don't have... I don't have any... Well, maybe there's some more of these uh, crystal darts, but I don't have any left. Seriously? Well, yeah, it's, it's, this boss has like a million mobs in it, so that's why I'm concerned. Well, maybe Death's Poker is good. Or just get good and win somehow. Uh, there's there's a lot more bosses left. What was up there, right? I I I didn't see who that was. Was there a brawl chasing me? All right, here we go. Oh, oops, I thought I had Craig Blade on for a second. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't done that many main bosses. The furthest main boss I've killed is Morgoth. Oh, this doesn't have as good wrecking as I thought. Imagine this boss in Omnit League getting this boss fight with all the mobs and stuff. But this was not a good plan. Yo, uh, Lin, thanks for the the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Okay. One more. I did not mean to repost them. Yeah, make sure if you got a, a, a sub, make sure you thank, thank Lin. Look at the active frames on that attack, dude. It's unreal. 
shit. Is fast enough? Oh, it is. dude. Alright, we're at 95 apparently. Hardest boss on this? I don't know. I really don't know. Go kill Leonine. Hard to say. I would help if I could not jump off and die. Two blood dogs? Well, I already killed Esker, but that was really hard, yeah. That was that was the hardest boss so far. Oh, is there a stone sword up here? I'll come back later, it's okay. I'll get them as I need them. I think Gideon will be okay. I, I've got a lot of experience fighting him at this point, so... I can't say I'm too worried about him. Thank you. All right, I think I'll kill this boss and then I'm going to end you guys. And then I will be back on later today in a couple hours. Yeah, Fia's Champs, when I did R01 plus 0, they were tough, but I, I, I think I'll be fine with them, to be honest. I guess I'll put Blood Flame on, because why not? Dude, like, when you try to strafe that one... You kind of get put in a weird... Sp oh! You, you get clipped by some AoE hitbox. Oh, I got, I got hit by all that. Jesus, man. Okay, I think that's every boss down here, too. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we're at 96, you guys. 96. So, we, I mean, we are, we are mostly done. But we have a bunch of tanky bosses up here, so. Yeah, I killed the nice cavalry already. That's what this is. Here we go. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end here, and then... Um, I will be back on in a couple hours, you guys. Probably at around 5 p.m. I'll come back on. And we'll just continue this run. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it tonight. Depends how long I stream. Like, maybe I could finish it tonight, but... Who knows, dude? Um, who should we raid, dude? Yeah, we can raid Bree. Yeah, she just finished her first no-hit run in Elden Ring, so... That's pretty cool. Using using the route that we came up with with the, um... With the Iron Balls. Yeah, 5 p.m. EST, so it'll, it'll be in about two and a half hours, you guys. 2.5 hours. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Um, like I said, I'll be back on a bit later. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys have to like go to bed or whatever, I will see you guys tomorrow if you can't make it tonight. But yeah, I will be on tonight. So but yeah, take care, you guys.